Hey everyone, good morning, or well, it's morning for us. Morning for us. And uh, I know it's afternoon for you guys, but um, thank you so much. Well, I don't know what time it is that you're deciding to watch this. So I'm just gonna say welcome and hello. Um, it is jelly time. Today is December 6th. Wednesday December is flying. Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, it's chilly. 19 days until Christmas. Wow. Yep. So you got two weeks and like five days to get it all done. Shopping this week. You better get busy. <laughs> you better get busy. We're going shopping Saturday. You guys are going with us on Yay! Saturday. Yay! I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought we were working in the chicken houses. <laughs> no. Nope. I'd rather shop than work in the chicken houses. That's on Monday. Oh. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> it's jelly time. Jelly time. Let's right, talk about the temperature. Temperature. It's been in the 50s, 60s for the last few days, but today I think the high is 48. Yeah, a little chilly today. So it's a little chillier. Yep. He likes to take the doors off. Yeah, because so we know which way we're heading. He takes the doors off the hinges, and I'm talking about the jelly advent thing. Yeah, <coughs> yeah so. You know, my favorite advent tradition is actually lighting the candles on Sunday. I think that's super special, and each candle has a meaning. Yeah. It's beautiful. The first candle um, is hope. We lit that this week. Lit this, this past Sunday. But this is super fun uh, for us to do on Vlogmas. We're doing the jellies of the morning and the cheese at night. All right. And so today we're doing door number five. Oh, the doors say something. Magic of the season. Jingle all Spread the way. Spread love. Oh, we, just, we just realized that. Be merry and jingle all the way. And run. All right, so today's six. We're looking for the number six. I know you can't see that on right, here. here we go. Number six. Right Where there. is it? Right there. Okay, right there. Right, here we go. Right, number six. Here we go. Open and the door. door says comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. This one's very interesting. What is it? Grapefruit, dragon fruit Ooh. spread. Gonna be twangy? I don't know. I've never had grapefruit. I've never had grapefruit jelly. jelly. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. You I haven't been showing you. Whoa! You but look it where it went! Right in the right lid. Right in the lid. She gets two points. I mean that was, I couldn't have done that better if I tried. Yeah. If it hadn't went in the lid, she'd have had a meltdown. <laughs> I would, because it'd been on my coffee table. And if I would have done that, I would be in trouble. <laughs> that was funny. Well, I think you can tell by the consistency. It's, it's a little, a little runny. little thinner than, than the others. A little thinner, but that's okay. Maybe not enough pectin in there. Oh, how'd you like that? Oh. How did y'all like that? Would the pectin be natural pectin? or? It probably would with this company. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and no, I have not done my research yet, but I will. Um, you know something that I have different this morning? He I actually have. has a breakfast. Yeah, look. I cooked me some hams and, ham and eggs this morning. Country ham and eggs. Did he ask me if I wanted any? No, because she didn't. She doesn't. Country ham's not her favorite. I like country ham. Occasionally. Occasionally, yep. I like it always. You do. All right, here we go. You ready? Guess who butters my bread? And jellies. <laughs> Kind of citrusy. It's not twangy at all. But there's a there's a citric tartness. Mm -hmm. In the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I would eat it. Yeah. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> um, it's hard to go wrong with a jelly. I say that every day. We've already, we've already drank our pot of coffee. But I would love a pot of coffee. I mean, a cup of coffee with this piece of bread and jelly. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. Are you really going to eat your breakfast oh, for them? I'm sorry. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> My day starts early. It does. So anyway, so that's it um, for the jelly. Um, what's, today. What's, what's the video going to hold today for you? I don't know. I just found out. I got a puny little grandson. Yep, Judas sick. Judah's not feeling well. So he make Caroline works from home every other week. And um, it may 
she but she's at home today so she gets you know he can stay at home but she has to go into the office for a little bit so he may be over here with me for a little while and i wanted to try to make sourdough bread but i don't know that the actual loaf is going to get made i may just kind of start playing with it so i'm not sure i don't know what today holds i know we have church tonight Go church tonight you may have to go close the flock out today I had a power steering hose blow on my truck yesterday. I got to take my truck to the shop this morning. Just piddly stuff today. Yep, yep. I got to clean back up. I kind of started cleaning yesterday. Um, then the boys came and they destroy anything I do. So. Hey, did you tell them why Dasher and Dancer take so many coffee breaks? Do you know why Dasher and Dancer take so many coffee breaks? Tell them. Because they're Starbucks. Starbucks. There you go. I actually thought that was kind of cute. Ba -doom I gave him a high five on that. That was one. that was sent in by a viewer. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that was sent in by a viewer, but um, you must have read a comment I didn't get to. <laughs> yep. So it's because um, I get up earlier than she yeah. does. And so then I haven't gone back yet today <laughs> to read them. So and some, so that's the one. Sometimes we get asked, "What time do y'all get up? What time do you start your day?" This morning I was up at four thirty, mm -hmm. and she got up at six o'clock this morning. Yes. It was a little late morning for me this morning. I, I normally am, well, here lately, I got up, started getting up at four with him. So, uh, hang on one second. Um, you going to show him something? Yeah. He's going to show you? I have no idea what he's going to show you. Oh, a book he's reading. Yeah. So, some, <coughs> some of you may say, well, what do you do for an hour and a half before she gets up? Well, let me see. I check email. If we've got chickens, I check the temperatures and everything in the, in the chicken houses. Uh, my first phone call is about 5 o'clock to an old buddy of mine. Uh, we talk for a little bit. Uh, then I make coffee, and then I read some. Right now, this is what I'm reading. Uh, it may be backwards on the camera for you. No, it's not. If you are a pastor, I recommend this book. Or if you're a lay leader in your church, I recommend this book. This is actually good for anybody. Yeah, it, and it talks about seven um, ingredients to making your, your church uh, healthy and how to possess a vision and move forward so really really good there so yeah and then, and then um i make coffee and then i wake her up usually when the coffee gets done depending on how she is when i get up if she's sleeping light when i get up i get her up early if she's sleeping heavy and maybe um sounding like a bear when i get up <laughs> i let her sleep a little longer so, i don't sound like a bear i'm just kidding chainsaw <laughs> but anyway all right guys let's start today all right We'll see you with whatever we do. Okay. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. I can't find the button. Okay, everybody. Bryant and Daniel have been working on my front porch, getting the garland put on. I'll come out and add the bows in just a little bit, but they've got the garland on and the lights on. Hey, why are you going to wait until a little bit? Oh, uh, well, until it warms up. <laughs> why are you going to see the lights on? Yep, let's see the lights. One, two, four. Yay! Look at them. Okay, excuse the mess of the front porch. We'll be cleaning that up in just a little bit when it warms up and when I add the bows. So the guys have been out there working on the front porch, and I am really wanting to get some sourdough bread made. I have never really, I've had sourdough starter, but I've never made an actual loaf of sourdough bread. I did make like sourdough pancakes and stuff like that, but never a full loaf of bread. So let me just tell you the the recipe I'm using is in measurements, in weights. Um, of course it's in measurements, but it's in weights and it's in grams. Now I want to follow this recipe pretty much spot on. However, I do have a little bit of bread baking skills um, to know I may need less or more of anyway, but instead of measuring with like cups i did weigh it out because i want to follow this recipe straight on so i have a thousand grams of all-purpose flour i wanted bread flour but i didn't have enough bread flour or i didn't think i had enough bread flour i have 735 grams of water plus a little bit of extra water right here when we add the salt in <clears throat> we'll need a little water to help add it in okay 
and I have my bowl that I'm going to hopefully mix it in. I hope that bowl's big enough. I have my basket, my proofing basket here. I think it's called a batan. I'm not sure. But anyway, I have this basket, which is for sourdough bread, and I already have it floured. So, um, the only thing I haven't measured out, and I'm going to let you watch me measure it, is um, the salt. So, I need about, I think it's 24 grams of salt. Let me check the recipe, and I'll bring you right back. Yes, it's 24 grams of salt. So, I'm going to get you guys turned down here real quick and let you see my scale. And we'll move that so hopefully there's enough light that you can see. And I'm, I'm doing this upside down to me. So, I'm going to turn the power on. Hello. Okay, and I've already got it in grams. But let's say it was in mil milliliters or... Um, not sure what that is, or pounds, or uh, uh, what is that? I don't know what that is. Ounces, grams. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this on my scale, and as you can see, it weighs 184.4 grams. So I'm going to tear it out. And what tear means is means even though this weighs something, we're taking the scale back to zero. Okay. And so I have my Redmond's um, salt here. And we want 24 grams. There we go. Okay. And I'd say that looks like a good tablespoon right there. So, um, and we'll just tear it back out and cut the power off and put my scale away. I fed my sourdough starter earlier and it looks pretty active. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer before I actually put it to use and just see if we can get it any more active, but it smells perfect and it looks really good. Now, I'm not going to measure. Um, there is a measurement for your sourdough starter. I'm not going to measure. I'm going to eyeball it and oh, I hope this works, y'all. Now, it may not get finished on this video because we do have church tonight and so it may actually get baked off. I may um, slow proof it in the refrigerator overnight, but we'll see. We'll see how much time I have and I'm excited. Okay. I'm just going to go with it because I am so excited. Now this will actually make two loaves and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make one loaf, one loaf tonight, today, and do one in the refrigerator and see which way I like it best. So, with that being said, let me grab my starter. I don't know if you can see in there, but it is super active. There's lots of bubbles um, and there's bubbles on the outside. So I'm actually going to eyeball how much I'm using. I need, I think about a cup. And mine is actually a little runnier than it, what I would like for it to be, but that's okay. I'm going to set this back over here in case this doesn't, in case I'm coming on this too fast. Um, I'll let that sit over there and maybe um, try it again tomorrow if it doesn't work. Okay, um, I'm going to add in my water. Let me get you guys turned down here. And I'm just going to mix that up. The sourdough starter should have been a little bit thicker. So, um, 
I don't know if I'm going about this a little too fast, but anyway, it is what it is. All right, let's go in with our flour. So we'll see. I mean, I guess this is kind of like feeding it again. Sorry. Let me move this over here real quick so I can bang on the table. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take, pull my sleeve up and take my hands and start mixing it. I feel like we're going to need a little more flour. This is very liquidy to me. And that's what I'm saying. There's a little bit about bread making that... Um, you kind of just need to know the feel. And I don't know. It may be coming together. Let me, let me keep working it and see what I think. And I'll bring you guys back when I get it all worked up. Okay, I did just grab my bread flour was hanging out. So I did just add a little bit of that in there. And this is more of the consistency, a shaggy um, dough that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it off my hands and cover it and let it sit for about an hour and a half to two hours. And then we will add in the salt at that point and the extra water and we'll do a little kneading and get it ready to go. So we'll be back in just a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to cover this up, let it hang out and sit for just a little while and clean up my mess and then we'll be back at the next step. So what I'm doing now is First of all, these are not the bows I want on the front porch, but it's what I got. And I mean, they're cute, but I wanted a fuller bow with more, more loops. And um, so I'm thinking about next year having some made, you know, going to a florist and having some made. Um, but I, I just didn't want to spend that this year since I did my Christmas tree ornaments. But these bows have just this cheap wire and it won't go around. I need it to be longer. So I'm cutting some floral wire right here. I'm cutting it and adding it on to the back of these bows and securing it pretty well. And um, just so I can have enough wire to tie when I put my bows on. Like I said, these I am not happy with these bows. These are like $3, $4 bows at um, Walmart. Walmart actually had a prettier bow that I really kind of liked and would be happy with, but they were like $9 a piece, and I need eight of them. So that would be, what, $70-some dollars? Or, I don't know. Yeah, $70-some dollars, I think. Um, because I can't remember how many cents, you know. But, um, so I'm just going with these and then, um, next year, my goal for decoration, Christmas decoration is the outside. I've always wanted a pretty little lit up thing outside. Never really had it. And so, um, that's my goal for next year. I want lights on the house. I did do the lights. Well, the men did the lights on the front porch for me this morning and, um, so yeah, I'm just adding this floral wire to the back, but that's my goal for next year is the outside of the house. Um, so hopefully, maybe we can find some things after Christmas this year on, on sale, but we'll get these out and I'll give you a final look of what the outside looks like. My front porch, I really would love to have my front porch redone. I would like it longer and deeper um the, the when this house was originally built when i was a little well it was built way before i was ever even thought of 
But when I was a little girl, there was a flat front porch with no cover. It was just a flat front porch and it went all the way, almost the length of the house. Mama didn't like that, and in the 80s, she remodeled that and had this porch built. For those of you who may not know, we live in my childhood home. We bought my childhood home. We bought my brother's half out, and um, so I'm actually wanting to extend the front porch, but with a cover, maybe not as long as it was initially, but at least past the living room window and uh, having a front porch on it, I know that's going to impede my view somewhat, but um, especially of the sky, and I'm not sure I want to do that, so maybe I can extend it that way. I don't know. I don't know what to do, so maybe when I go outside, I'll show you the front of the house, and you can give me some ideas on what you would do but I do want a bigger front porch. The front porch needs to be redone. The, the cement in between the bricks is breaking. The, it's just, it's not in the front, the, um, the rails need painting. Um, it's just, it's just needs some work done to it. Some bricks are breaking. So the front porch needs some work, and it's something we never use. We never use the front porch, but when companies come in, we always tell them to come in the front door. Just because our back porch is our chicken clothes where we take everything, and so it stinks, it's dirty, it's, you know, just, um, so I need to work on the front porch. And we want to remodel the back porch as well and make it a livable, useful place. So, all right, let me finish getting these wires on and I'll get the bows on and we'll see what it looks like.
Okay, everyone, here is the front porch with the red bows, and it'll be beautiful with the lights on at night. But tell me, would you go that way, knowing it would impede the sight of the sky from inside the house? Or would you take the front porch where it's at and go towards that little section right there and make it bigger? Um, I just need to do something. As you can see, my front porch is not in the best of shape. And we need to do something about it. Like I said, the cement is breaking out. Um, <laughs> grass grows up in there. So, um, so yeah, give me your thoughts. Well, guys, I am not super hopeful with this sourdough because I think I got overzealous and wanted to go way too fast after feeding my starter this morning. But we're going on with it. And if it doesn't turn out, then I'll just let you know it didn't turn out. So, all right, let me get you turned down here. We're going to add the salt and our the rest of our water. And I'm just sprink sprinkling the salt right over top. That looks like a lot of salt to me, y'all. I don't know. It just looks like an awful lot. And we're just going to pour this water on here that's going to help mix the salt in. So we are just mixing away. It's staying together pretty good and it really smells good. So I'm just going to knead this for about five to 10 minutes, mixing the salt, incorporating it all. And I can't decide if I want to let this proof in the refrigerator or go ahead and try to make the sourdough today. I think I'm going to let it proof in the refrigerator and we'll finish it tomorrow if it's good dough. I'm not sure, but I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm just going to keep kneading the salt in, making sure it's all mixed in. And I think I'm actually going to do it in the refrigerator. So I'm going to cover this up, put it in the refrigerator, and we will actually make our loaves tomorrow. So we'll see. Y'all say a prayer. You won't know for another day, but that's okay. We're just mixing the salt in, and I'll see you guys back. I'll see you back today, but uh, as far as the bread, I'll see you back tomorrow. Well, if you've been following our channel in it all, you know that uh, we've got commercial chicken houses. Um, one of the challenges of commercial chicken houses is they, uh, the chickens produce a lot of litter and you gotta be able to get rid of your litter. And uh, see that truck right there behind me? That's what we get rid of the litter with. Uh, we take and um, load it down and then we spread it on the uh, fields for fertilizer you're getting ready to see Daniel come behind me right here uh, on the skid steer. It's loaded down with uh, chicken litter. And uh, he dumps it, puts it on the truck. Only problem is I'm standing up wind, so guess where all that litter just blew to? Let me go down wind. This is the place we keep it. It's called the stack house. Uh, this stack house right now uh, has about three houses of litter in it. You see that steam coming off of it because that litter's moist, it can get warm. See that steam rolling off of it? That's called a hydraulic tilt dump bucket. He gets it over, he's got a button he pushes, and it rotates and it dumps it. Not every bucket does that. That's a, that's a special bucket uh, that you have to buy to make it do that. Um, that truck will hold uh, anywhere from eight to nine tons of litter. And it will cover, I'll put that over about two and a half to three acres is what I'll put that over. 
This right here is my favorite truck. It's an 18 foot. If you look right over there, that's the first truck I started with. Sorry about that. That's my first truck over there. It's a manual bed. It don't. It's not quite as easy to operate as this one here, because this one is a uh, hydraulic bed, and it's a little easier to operate. Let me go show you the machine that takes the litter out of the house. This machine right here is called a housekeeper. Some people call it a housekeeper. Some people call it a cruster. It just depends. See these bars right here on the very bottom? Those are called the beater bars. That beats the litter. Uh, any uh, cakes, it beats the cake. Some people call it a decaker. Uh, then once it beats it, it goes on these conveyor slats. And if it's small enough to fall through these holes, it falls back down to the ground of the chicken house or inside the chicken house. If it's not small enough to go through those holes like this piece right here, it rides this conveyor belt up and as it rides that conveyor belt up, it gets put into this hopper right here. See that big bed right there? It goes inside that hopper, which is this right here. Goes in the side of that hopper. And then I carry it over there where Daniel is getting the litter from. You see Daniel over there getting the litter. This gate, this back gate opens up right here and uh, it, the litter dumps out over there. So here's a poultry housekeeper. Truly, truly is a gorgeous day here on the farm. Uh, we have about uh, 52, 53 degrees and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a light wind that's blowing. There's the houses. Some of you may have never seen those. We've picked up a lot of subscribers over the last two or three months. Don't know how much they've seen of the operation, but uh, I'm getting ready to quit for the day to head to church to uh, finish my studies and get ready for tonight. Daniel's going to continue to spread some litter. So y'all have a good afternoon. Let's see what Miss Leslie's doing. Y'all look in front of me. I'm spreading litter. I don't know where you can see it, but there's about nine or ten deer right there. See them heading to the woods. Beautiful sight right there. About nine of them. Well, here we are, the end of another day. It's over. Lots of farming stuff Yep. that you captured a little bit of. What you think about those deer? Oh, yeah, they were cool. Yep. There was a bunch of them. Did y'all see how many? You know, that reminds me of uh, a question. What? What does it cost for Santa to park his reindeer? You ever thought about that? What does it cost for Santa to park his reindeer? Yeah, because he parks them all the pl all over the place. You know what I mean? I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Doesn't cost him anything. It's free? Yep. It's always on the house. Always on the house. <laughs> I thought that was a good one. It was a good one. It, was a good it one. really was a good one. It's cheese time. Cheese time. Here we go. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. What All right, what wrong? is it? Today, it's a, you, don't let, you don't let me tear the doors off this is one? Is it six or seven? It's number six. Six, up here at the top. You want me to do it? I got it. You always do it. Ready? Uh, here we go. All right, here we go. Gouda semi-matured. It's a teenager. <laughs> Read it. That's what it says. That's what I thought it said. That's what it says. Right. Look, you open and I'll... I'm going to use the knife. Classic Dutch imported Gouda. Aged to give a nutty and matured notes. It has notes. It has nutty notes. and matured notes. It smells good. Take a grip. I wonder if that's Gouda. It says Gouda. I mean, real Gouda. It smells like Gouda. Tastes mm -mm. like Gouda. You want it? Mm -mm. Gouda's not your favorite? It must not be. I thought I liked Gouda. Mm -hmm. But. You make Gouda grits? I do. I make smoked Gouda, Gouda grits. <laughs> <laughs> smoked Gouda grits. And they're real good. Um. That's not a cheese I'd put on my sandwich, but if I had like a, um, oh, what's, not like a charcuterie board, but yeah, you kind of like it. It'd be fine to serve on that, yeah. you know, with some crackers and yep. some olives and some pickles. It, uh, 
Th there was one I didn't like. That was the pesto one. I didn't like the pesto one. And hmm. I didn't really like the Italian season one. But that one wasn't bad. Last night was the paprika, smoked paprika. Yes, and I, it was pretty good. I did like it. Yeah. And it was Gouda. Yeah, it was good. And I liked it. Yeah. So. For her, this one's up in the air. For me, it's a winner winner chicken dinner. So you got to tune back in tomorrow to see if how my bread turns out. I'm uh -oh. a little worried about it. Is that what you put in the refrigerator? Mm hmm Yeah, I saw it. I think I jumped the gun after feeding my starter. Yeah. I don't think I waited long enough. I think that's what happened. <laughs> you don't have a clue. <laughs> I don't know. You I just, don't have a clue. I just know I may have to do a funeral for Wilson. No. Now, my starter is still good. I think I just used it too quick after feeding it. You have to wait and let it get really active. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I waited long. I don't, it wasn't at its peak of activity. Because I was, I wanted to make the bread. So. She's anxious. <clears throat> so we'll see. I have a few errands to run tomorrow. Patience is part of the fruit of the spirit. It's a virtue. Mm -hmm. And she was missing it in this I case. was missing it, yeah. Well, she wanted to do a video is what she wanted. So. Well, I really wanted to try that starter, so I was anxious to try it. But anyway, we'll see. It's okay. I'm not giving up hope. It may turn out and be the best thing since sliced, sliced bread. bread. <laughs> wah, wah. Wah, wah. <coughs> but anyway so you'll have to tune in hopefully i'll get it made tomorrow i do have some errands in the morning to run uh we're supposed to make a grocery list at some point in time tomorrow's a busy day got a nine o'clock appointment got a 12 o'clock appointment got a seven o'clock appointment yeah tomorrow's a busy day yep and i got errands so we're both gonna be going and running and doing all kinds of things so all right well we will see you tomorrow in the morning hope you guys enjoyed today yep we'll see you in the morning when we uh, uh taste our jelly vlogmas i day. look forward to the jelly vlogmas what day is this 13 14 it's a wrap <laughs> i always know <laughs> when i put it on the title but hey thank you guys <laughs> let me say this thank you for helping her get over the ten thousand follower yes. mark on facebook yes thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> so it's so, all right all right well we're gonna sign out and we'll see you tomorrow remember the grease is hot enough you can fry anything <laughs> love night, you guys. guys bye